Hi y'all, it's me. I'm here trying to record this video. I've done it several times, so hopefully this time I get it right. I am going to do my little review on this printer that I purchased that I showed in my last video. I got tons of questions about it and people wanting to know how to use it and if I like it and etc. etc. So I, I'm going to give you my little review. I don't know how good it'll be, but I'm going to do the best that I can. So um, what I'm talking about is the LG Popo printer. Um, this takes pictures out of your phone, you're able to print them, or out of your iPad or you know tablets, you can print them right out. So you can stop just taking pictures and actually print them and use them in your projects or whatever. Um, I wanted to use this in my, my planner. I wanted to have small pictures, and I'll get to that why I chose this one in just a moment. But let me first tell you about this. If I find the place where I purchased this on Amazon, I'll link it down below. If not, just search eBay and Amazon for the LG Popo and you'll find deals. Just pick the deal that's best for you. My deal was the printer itself, three boxes of film, and the cord that you need to um, charge it and etc. etc. So the printer is really easy to use. I am not very much electronically inclined sometimes, so for me this was simple to use. I just figured it out really quickly because all the instructions are in Chinese or I'm not sure what, but anyway, it's hard to know what to do if you don't know. So anyhow, it has an on-off switch, a place for the USB cord, and a place where you insert the film. That's it. That's all you have to worry about with this. So that's the easy part. It fits in the palm of my hand. It's about three quarters of an inch thick, so it's very compatible to take with you on a trip or wherever you want to go. I love this. I'm so excited about it. Um, then mine also came with three packs of film. This does not use ink. It uses zinc paper. Um, zinc paper, the color is in the paper. Ink is, of course, a cartridge with ink, so this just the ink is on the paper and it kind of burns in the picture to the ink. So that's how that works. And inside each pack, there's these little packets like this. There's three per box, 10 pictures each. So there's 30 pictures per box and I got three boxes with my purchase. So there's 90 altogether. When you open each pack of these, the 10 pictures, you'll also find in it a blue card like this, the barcode. That has to go underneath the paper when you load it into here. You just lift that up. It has to go at the bottom with the code down and then your paper on top. Once you print your first picture, that will come out from the end here. That's where the pictures come out. It'll come out and you don't need to use it again for this 10 pictures. But in the next pack, you'll get another one and you have to do it the same way. So um, you can also know that this fits the Polaroid zinc paper as well. So if you find that better deal um, to get the Polaroid paper, that might be an option for you. Um, it works in here just as well. All of that you can get on Amazon or eBay or whatever. Um, the next thing you have to do after you charge this, because you have to charge it for an hour before you use it, um, you have to download the app from the Play Store onto your phone. And as you can see, I have mine here. Let's see if I can show you. It's this one right there. And you download the app and then you simply click it and you'll get this little screen. Um, then you'll get your albums. You can either choose to go back and look at your albums and all your pictures will show up that you have in your album. And then you select one of the pictures. So there I've selected one of the pictures. So now <clears throat> you have options with this. You can you can uh, modify the colors, adjust the colors, whatever you want to do. That option is there. <clears throat> you can um, choose to, let me go here. You can come in and you can edit the date. So if you click on that, you'll see it brings up the date. If I check that, it'll print it. If I don't check it, it won't print it on the picture. You can select your colors that you want the date to print in, or you can also select the um, memo feature, you can select the um, the type of font you want to use. It, they give you a lot of options, so you are very uh, have a lot to do that you can play with there. So that's that. Um, this QR, I think that's one of those things where you can send it to someone's phone and they scan it and they can say, it. I have no idea, so don't ask me what that's for yet. I have to figure that out. Um, but you can do your brightness and whatever. 
Um, if you want to put a frame around that, they have an offering of all these different cute little frames that you can put around your pictures. There's some that even look like the Polaroids down at the bottom there. And I'm going to use one that I know will show up fairly well because of the camera. It's hard to show. See how I put the Christmas frame around there? So if I want to print that now, I'll just hit print and it will print. I'll, you know, say you go back and then it'll say, you know, print and you can print it. If you don't want to do that, um, you also have an option of, let's see here, let me go, let me go back here. Alrighty, sorry, I'm trying to, oh, I know what I'm doing. Okay, so let me go back. And then if you want to, the other thing that I like, sorry, that's not exactly what I wanted to show you, but there's this little icon down there that looks like three little boxes. If you click that one, it'll give you the option to then do collaging, which is why, why I chose this particular um, camera. I was told that the, see there I doubled it. Um, I was told that the HP one, you have to do a collage in another program outside of your HP program and then transfer it in and print and that's too much work. This had already has it in it. So you get to have smaller pictures and I'll show you what they look like when I print them out. Um, if you want to change the picture, you simply click on the one you want to change and then you go into your pictures again and you can select another picture and you see there how it adds the second picture. So that's the best part of this is that you have that option to do that. Um, basically after you're done you just, it says do you want to apply the changes? I can say yes, I can say no, it takes me back to my original design and then I can print it out from there. So let me show you um, one that I printed with a frame around it. It just so happened when I was in San Francisco, um, I saw seals and I, they have a frame with a little seal on it. So it's really cute. So I added the date there. You don't have to again, like I said, but I chose to. Um, these are glossy pictures, so they're really pretty and the quality is really nice. I know it's not picking up because my camera's not the best at the moment, but um, it does a really nice job and I'm really happy with it. So that's the two by three photo. The one that I like it for the most, of course, like I mentioned before, is that I can print smaller. And this is one that I printed smaller. And um, this were when I was in San Francisco and I want to put them in my planner. So I want them small. I don't want bigger pictures. And I love that feature about this. So that's what that looks like. So as you can see, it's beautiful. And if I had to do it again, I would buy this again. I love the ease of it, the simplicity, the quality is good. I'm, I'm happy with it. I can take this with me on my trip and do, you know, if you're on a, like in a hotel room with nothing to do, you can sit there and print out your pictures for that day and put them in your little books. And, you know, it just gives you that ease because it's such a small thing to carry with you. So there you go. That's my review. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, let me know. I'll do the best I can to answer. I'm not a whiz at this, but you know, that's what I figured out thus far. So anyway, until next time, do what makes you happy. Talk to you later. Bye for now.